Welcome back, folks, to some more Walking Dead, Episode 2. Fucking D man Ted. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Outside the bar. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Well, sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Get one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick which one to keep in my life? Not the kid. I'm gonna lead on the trade. <laughs> oh, I know, Major. This is Take my favorite crack, too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. What do you see? Can you see him? Walker's eating enough of us! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! Do it then! Shut the fuck up! No! I don't give a shit what that little bitch saw. Kill her next! Brat. Your natural born killer, go. bitch! I'll keep Clementine safe. Gave me the hat, hooker.
Oh, that's lovely. Carly! Lee? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us! I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit! How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. He didn't ask if he had a credit card, bitch. He asked if he had a weapon. No, no, please, no, no, no! Bitch, shut up, and you'll be fine. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy! Let's go, woman. Set her down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Sandy, is that you? What's going on out there? I left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. Oh. Right, bitch. Honey, let me go! Lee! Get back! Don't come in here! You just had to go snooping around and yeah. Go, Brenda! Another step. Brit, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Stop right there. I mean it. Oh! Hey. Bitch just busted a cap in my ass. Stupid bitch. You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Stop right there, I mean it. Put the gun down, bitch. No! <laughs> Put the gun down, bitch. I don't give a fuck. You just had to go. Put the Go gun down, them. bitch! Fucking crazy old coon dog! Please! Please don't you take another step! Brit, Fuck you, Come hippo. on now, you know you don't want to do this! You don't want to do this! Stop right there, I mean it! Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee! Just let me go! Obviously smart, huh? How did it come to this? Just stop! I don't want to kill you, Lee! Well, I want to kill you. This, this theory was your pride. Look what you've done to it! Shut the fuck up. 
You think I'm playing here, boy? All we wanted was gas. We came to you peacefully. You can use this shit. Damn it. Fucking keyboard. Piece of fucking shit dick licking keyboard. Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh. You did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Eat this motherfucker. He's had enough. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Danny Mama get out here. You all fucked! <laughs> They're both dead! What did you do? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> Let him Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee!
that's it. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But... I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the Motor Inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Come out or I'll shoot! I can just shoot him. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. Boom shakalaka! This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. 
Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Supplies? I'll pick it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. What? Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. It's yours now. Take that shit, little bit. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Shit. Bitch got issues. I want to thank you all for watching Walking Dead, Episode 2. Megan is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! The Long Road Ahead, Episode 3. Chop David's leg off. Me and 86% players did that. Shot Jolene, only 11%. The rest of you guys are pussies. Helped kill Larry. Fuck yeah. Killed both of the St. John brothers. Shit yeah. Stole fruit from the car. Fucking A.
That's it, folks, for episode two of The Walking Dead, Starved for Help, based on the comic by Robert Kirkman. If you haven't gone out and bought the compendium, fucking do so. It's a fantastic, fantastic graphic novel. I, uh, I got the first compendium, which comprises itself of the first several, several comics. Uh, it's like 400 pages or so, but it's great, man. It's way, way, way better than that fucking shit series they got going on AMC. Hell, I even like the series a little bit when it's not being a little bitch. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for the seventh time for watching. Stay tuned for episode three next month or the month after, or whatever the fuck Telltale does, uh, uh, blah, 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 decides to release it. I'm the Game Hoarder. This has been another Game Hoarder production. Stay tuned for more of the baddest motherfucker up here on the tube. <laughs>